Some breaking news out of Ohio State. The university's athletic director is retiring next year. 67-year-old Gene Smith will step down after 18 years at Ohio State. He's seen as one of the most influential ADs in the country. We have live team coverage from the university. Lindsay Mills spoke to Ohio State employees about the legacy Smith is leaving behind. But we're going to start tonight with Adam King, who joins us live now from outside the horseshoe. Adam? Wait. Well, Yolanda, you can't see any of the changes in the horseshoe from here, but Gene Smith so influential not only on the field there, but in all aspects of Ohio State athletics and today announcing that his tenure will come to an end on June 30th, 2024. Since the first time he heard the Buckeye battle cry, I've always embraced change. Gene Smith found himself as the face of Ohio State I came here, what, 49 or 48, I forgot. We've seen a lot of change over that time. The coaching hires speak for themselves. Our head football coach, Urban Meyer. An athletic director with 32 national titles. It's not the trophies, though, that leave Smith most proud. I'm passionate about uh, making sure we created, created an environment for our student athletes to be successful, you know, academically and athletically. And we make a promise. And our, the promise is we're going to develop them, not just on the field or in the court. We're going to develop them as people. From expansion to NIL and to COVID year, Gene Smith, always at the forefront of change in college athletics. But that change is not the reason June 30th will be his last day. That really didn't enter my mind because, you know, I've had challenges over the years that frankly are bigger than some of these. And so, um, you know, it, it really got down to culture and the people and where we are. So uh, the changes in the industry didn't, didn't matter to me. In an 18 year time frame, no challenge feeling bigger to Gene Smith than a 2011 battle with the NCAA. Uh, 2011 was hell. That was painful. Uh, the, the student athletes who were impacted, uh, that was hard. But now the days at the podium are done. The handshakes and negotiating soon to be a thing of the past. I, I just kind of, it just kind of came to me that it was time. You know, we're in a good place. We have good culture, good coaches, good staff. Um, I just felt like um, it's a great time for a new leader to come in and inherit what we've built and then build upon it. And the legacy he leaves behind is shown not only in the rafters, but on the thousands of student athletes during his tenure. I'm looking forward to it. You know, uh, I'm looking forward to celebrating with them and, and um, you know, and just starting a new chapter, whatever that is. Now, the start of that new chapter will be July 1st. And interestingly enough, that is also the day that Oregon and Washington will join the Big Ten. Really a chance as Gene Smith steps away from the program to see the massive impact he's had in his 18 year, what will be 19 years when he's done, Yolanda. Time flies. I remember when he got here. I covered that story. I can't believe it's been 18 years. All right. Thank you, Adam. Today's announcement will have a huge impact for Buckeye Nation. 10 TV's Lindsay Mills spent the day on campus hearing from those who feel fortunate to have worked with Gene Smith. She continues our team coverage tonight. Lindsay? Yolanda, we're live outside the shoot tonight and you can hear the band practicing. Gene Smith is a husband, he's a father, and for one more year, he'll be the leader of the athletic department here. Now, campus is quiet today, of course. It's the final days before students return for the new school year, but Smith's retirement was all the talk over at a popular sports bar. Over at Varsity Club, I spoke with two university employees from two totally different departments. They both have the same thing to say. Smith's leadership will be missed. David Graham is the assistant vice provost for student academic success, and he says he started at OSU the same year as Smith. Gene is a visionary. I mean, I think he was ahead of his time when he talked about supporting student success. As you think about this uh, with the Gene Smith Leadership Institute, he's ahead of his time. Now, when I asked if he thinks that Gene Smith will go on to do something more post retirement, he believed he thought so because, quote, he has a lot to give. Live outside the shoe, Lindsay Mills, 10 TV News.